Hi, my name is Ted Schlafke. I'm the quarterbacks coach and offensive coordinator at the University of South Dakota. The Today. first drill I'm going to talk about is our curl drill, and then we'll work on uh, another body language drill that the receivers use where they, we call it look, lean, and drive. With our curl drill, the, the receiver is going to work his leverage on the quarterback. We just use a curl as a basic, a basic route for it. It applies to a lot of different uh, routes. They work their leverage. And as they get up the field in a man-to-man -man situation, really they run into three total situations where when they're coming back to the quarterback, the defender will either be on their inside shoulder where we'd like the ball to be placed outside their frame so that they can turn and get up the field away from the defender. The other situation, of course, is where the, de the defender will be on, these, on his outside. We'd like that ball to be placed on the inside of his frame so he can take the ball up the field. And then, of course, when you have a, an open window, Receiver's going to try to apex the two defenders there. Quarterback will put the ball, still putting it on his shoulder to lean him up the field. So as the receiver reads the coverage there, we'll end up in a situation where that tells the quarterback essentially where he wants the football. The second drill that we'll take a peek at that really illustrates very similar principles is when he is up the field, he's getting contacted by the corner. He's going to lean up the field, try and get vertically to get his momentum up the field so that when he snaps off this break, we're able to present with more separation at the top of the route. And it's really important that he does that instead of allowing this thing to melt inside so he can work to undercut that with better momentum. So we'll look at some film to take a look at those two drills. Here we have the curl drill. We have four lines, four quarterbacks, and everybody has a defender on them, one of the coaching staff. And as they press up the field, they're really reading how the defenders are playing them. And then you see how they come out of the break. If you take a look at the guys on the outside, both have defenders on them and really they're expecting the ball in a certain spot and really the example on the left is exactly how we want the receiver to run through the football to continue to bring that ball back not allowing the corner the cornerback to defend it and then as he gets it the the ball ends up on the the side of his body opposite where the DB would end up the second drill that we had up there was our look lean and drive both guys on the inside do a really good job. They get their leverage, and then they lean, and then they snap off. And as, as they snap off the defender, they present, and we should be able to hit them running away. This works for all in and out cuts. We start the drill, go down the field both ways, and then they switch, trying to hit the receiver in stride, running away from their defender. As we put this into application, on the bottom, you have a one-on-one -on -one rep here where the receiver gains his leverage. He's really working the lean and drive technique. He's running a curl here. And then he gets, as he gets out of the break, you can see the defender is, is essentially on his inside. So the quarterback puts it just outside his frame to the outside to create yards after the catch. We want those guys to get a ton of reps of seeing this picture so that they can trigger the ball quickly. Here's another example where he gets an outside release. Uses great hands at the top. Defender's on his inside, so this ball should be thrown down his line on the outside of his frame. And he's able to s slightly go get it. And it's always the game of inches where this ball is, is just you know, a foot further inside and the, the DB's able to make a play on it. Then we want those guys getting up the field where the ball takes them. One more look at it on the inside here. Even though the receiver is on the inside, he feels that the DB is extending up the field, and really the space for the quarterback shows that it's on the outside, and he's able to put the ball there starting his, his movement up the field. As we take a look at, at this in, in a seven-on-seven seven rep, uh, in the slot to the top, he's working the other, the other look where he would end up wrapping this thing into the window, and then actually the quarterback's getting the look where he's putting the ball away from the safety, which is you know, about a foot further outside his frame. This is a really good look at a, at, a, at a few different techniques here where the receiver is finding the window, the quarterback is feeling the window, but also putting the ball away from the safety that's driving it. So he's really throwing the ball away from essentially three, three defenders and the receiver does a great job of breaking back through the window to catch and run and get up the field. One more look at that here. Inside, he gets the third of the looks where it's really a zone picture. He's trying to find the apex of the zone. 
sinks his hips. That's telling the quarterback to trigger the ball on the outside because of where that safety in the black jersey is in the middle of the field. Able to put the ball away and let his body block the defender from getting to the football. So those are just two simple drills that we do every week. And as we go through the season, we rep that stuff every week and our guys should create that as, as basic fundamentals and they just start to chase the space and, and expect the ball in different spots. And I think those two working together um, allows us to complete a lot more footballs. Thanks. I hope you enjoyed this video clinic. Please subscribe to InstaClinic so that you stay connected to this one-of-a-kind football resource.